Welcome to a demonstration of IEMR Introduction to Electronic Medical Records from Health Professions Education Solutions. We have updated IEMR for 2021. We have given it a new look, a new appearance. We've made it easier to migrate for the students and easier for administrators to add new patient records to IEMR. We're going to begin on the student side, and the student side is always noted by this little student pictured here. So we're going to go on the student side by clicking Find a Patient. It's going to bring a list of all of our patients that are contained within IEMR. You can scroll down to find a patient. You can uh, scroll up and down and find them. And we're going to go to uh, Bob Good Patient. We're going to click on Go to Record. It brings up Bob's electronic medical record. Here we have a picture of Bob, and again, note that we've got a little student at the top. The reason that is important is because on the student side, the students have limited edit capabilities, where on the administrator side, the administrator can fully edit the electronic medical record. You don't want students changing your basic medical record, but they can go in and add uh, notes for whatever their profession is to the electronic medical record, but they can't change the basic record. So here we have the face sheet, the card X, the admissions information, the vitals, which students can go in and add when they've taken vitals, intake and output, again that's where the student can edit that, a care record, the nursing physical assessments, we have a head to toe assessment, a pediatric assessment, an OB assessment, a med surge assessment, and a mental health assessment. All of these assessments can be printed as well, and the default printer in IEMR is the default printer you have hooked up in your system. So it will go there and print. We have medication administration. At the top is the physician's orders. At the bottom is the medication that's been administered to this patient. Progress notes, the labs, we're going to look at a uh, urinalysis results. I'm going to click on this button, input the lab ID, and it brings up our urinalysis result. Again, note, you've got your little student up here, so that tells me that we cannot edit or change this, and it remains uh, accurate for this patient. Now we're going to look at the blood test results. And we've got a blood test here. I'm going to put in the lab ID, and it brings up th that as well. Again, note the little student. We're going to close that. Now we're going to go to Diagnostics. And here we want to view a diagnostic report. And this is where the patient has been ordered an EKG. You're going to bring up the diagnostic report. Again, there's the little student. And this one has an image with it. So I want to view the image. I'm going to double click on my image. It'll bring out my image here. And there I see my image that was with that diagnostic report. So we're going to click Close. And we viewed the diagnostic report, so we're going to close that out. Now we're going to go to Nursing Resources, where we have an SBAR communication worksheet that we can generate. We can also print those and review previous SBARs. We have a Consult section and a Therapy section, where you can make a therapy plan of care. And you can also print that out. Then we have a discharge plan where you can also enter your discharge plan and you can print that as well. So once we're finished with the student using it, then we close the patient record. So the student has been able to migrate through the EMR with pretty much ease. I mean, very little training is required to, to migrate through this. Now we want to go to the administrator side. And this is where the administrator can edit any of the medical records that are currently in IEMR, they can also add. So you can add as many patient records as you want. So you're basically creating a bank of EMR information that you can be used in your instruction. You, do, you access this by clicking on our logo. It comes up with a message to let you know you're going to the administrator side and you'll have full edit capabilities. Then we have the administration form. 
you click on this form and it brings up the same information the student was looking at but you have full edit capabilities this is where you would go and you can migrate through the patients you can add a new patient you can look at previous patients you can look up a patient by their last name you can look up a patient by their MR number if you need to but you have the full capabilities here to add a new patient record if you wish and if you wish to put in any information here you can just migrate through it and add it as you go we recommend that you put in the basic patient information first including the face sheet cardiac and admission then you go begin putting in physician's orders and then you go put in your lab and diagnostic testing results also if you have one that just is not working for you you can delete this patient record and you'll notice that you're on the IE on the administrator side by the little administrator on the upper right hand corner that's because the forms look so much alike we added the uh, little administrator and a little nurse so you a uh, nursing student or uh, health student so you know uh, what side of the database you're on you can also review previous blood testing if you need to make changes you can make changes from here so I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back to the administrator side you can print reports from IEMR. Any and all information that's contained in IEMR is printable. So you can go in here and print whatever you would like to print. And there's different uh, prompts to tell you what information to input. And you can print all of the data. You can also uh, add or edit medications by clicking on the medications list. And here's where you go. If you don't have a medication that's showing up in here, you can add it. These also will show up on the patient record in the drop down for the medication administration. You also have a physician's list, and that's in here so that if part of your uh, simulation or whatever you're doing with your students requires them to contact the physician, we have that information in here as well. You can also print that out. And a very important section is the data maintenance. Say you've been doing some simulations for over oh, the last couple of days and students have been using it and uh, doing electronic recording of the care that they've given the patient you'll want to go in and clear this out uh, student input out so that you can start fresh with the new EMR for your next group of students that are going to be using it so you open the data maintenance section and you see all the buttons here where you can go in and it pulls up all of, only the student input it gives you three options to change your mind if you don't want to delete it and then it deletes all the student input while keeping your basic EMR for individual patients at 100% at what you input to begin with so it only deletes uh, student input so that's a good thing to do periodically if you've been using IEMR so I'm going to close the data maintenance and it brings me back to the administrator form and the administrator form as you see has links to all aspects of EMR where you can edit or change or add whatever you need to add so that is a demonstration of how IEMR or introduction to electronic medical records work it is sold through an institutional site license once purchased there are no additional costs or fees if you would like to uh, learn more about it uh, please don't hesitate to contact us we'll be very happy to uh, provide you with a quote or give you any additional information even set up an online demonstration so that you can ask questions and we can walk through and you can see more details about what all is involved in IEMR. So please contact us at info at hpes-llc.com and we'll be happy to get back to you and provide you with any information you need. Thank you.